Labour leader Bill Shorten says Sam Dastyari has more to offer after he quit from the opposition. Front bench. It's hard to keep a good Dastyari down and even a seriously chastened one, who admits sport judgment, will be hard to stop. He has Labour's New South Wales right faction behind him and the broad national right, as well as some sympathy from the left. But not a lot. During the Labour leadership vote between Bill Shorten and Anthony Albanese, there were accusations Mr Dastyari's office had organised rank-and-file party members to back Mr Shorten. Previously, the strongest criticism of Mr Dastyari was he was rushed into big jobs without the experience to match the talent. He was in his 20s when Secretary of the New South Wales branch, just 30 when a shadow parliamentary secretary, and 33 when a shadow minister and manager of opposition Senate business. He now has a strong experience in making a big blunder he can learn from. He remains close to Mr Shorten, who backed the initial attempt to tough out the accusations against Mr Dastyari and returned fire on liberal recipients of Chinese generosity. The pair held talks immediately after the senator's hugely unsuccessful press conference on Tuesday. Mr Shorten and Mr Dastyari had a series of conversations yesterday, which produced the offer to quit the front bench, which came with Mr Shorten's endorsement. Sam is a young bloke with a bright future ahead of him. He has a lot more to offer Labour in Australia. However, the timetable for a Dastyari political resurrection and will depend on memories fading on the unexplained $1,670 gift in travel expenses from a Chinese businessman. Plus Mr Dastyari's apparent contradiction of Labour policy to favour China on a big foreign policy matter. Mr Bernardi headed the campaign against Mr Dastyari and effectively forced him from the opposition front bench last night. He prosecuted the Liberal case on the unexplained gifts. Mr Bernardi knows what it's like to have to stand aside because of an inexplicable position. In September, 2012, he stood down as Tony Abbott's shadow parliamentary secretary for supporting families after making comments that the Prime Minister called repugnant and ill-disciplined. Mr Bernardi had claimed officially sanctioned bestiality would follow legalisation of same-sex marriage. I think that these things are the next step. He has not made it back to the front bench but has assumed an influential factional leadership role within the liberal right-wing base, and will soon head to New York to represent Australia for three months at the United Nations which he once called an unelected and unaccountable body. He has come back with dedication and a maturity Mr Dastyari might take note of.